Hey guys, Gina here. Now, I apologize if I look a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. I just woke up from a nana nap because my life is like that at the moment. But um, I'm going to be doing a different kind of video for you guys. Now, I'm going to be doing one of those um, what I brought in Japan slash South Korea videos. I know um, it's different from my usual type of content, but I really love watching these type of videos. Plus, I brought like quite a few interesting things, I think, so I'd love to share it with you guys. Um, at the moment, all my items that I brought are legit sitting on the ground in the corner of my room. So I really would like to like show you guys and go over them with you so that I can like integrate them in part into part of my normal life um i know these videos can come off kind of like weird like weird flicks but okay kind of videos but um, i'm truly not trying to do that here i worked hard for this trip i paid for it myself i worked two part-time two part-time jobs while studying to save up for this trip so this is just kind of what i bought i didn't really buy that much so i want to try to keep this video short for you guys because i know my last one was like fucking 46 minutes long but um a little bit less rambly than the other one hopefully but without further ado let's get straight into it Now first I'm going to go um, with some of the clothing items I bought because I've got more sitting on my bed right here. So the first thing is belts. I bought a few belts because I don't really have many belts as it is. I've only got like four belts and they're a bit, they're a bit shambles to be honest. They're a bit terrible. The first one I bought is this cool, kind of looks like, um, you know, like red, like you know how people have like those events and they use like tape to the corner off, kind of that. It's a NASA belt. I got it from 421. Now the thing about me, I love things on sales. Uh, I'm pretty sure this was like 480 yen or something crazy cheap like that. Um, but I bought this when I was in Shibuya. It is just a really cute. I haven't worn it yet, but I haven't found an outfit too. But I think this will spice up with any outfit, so I'm really excited for that. Next thing is another bout. I got this from a little shop in Harajuku. It is quite, it's right opposite the photo bank. You go up the stairs. There was like photo bank here. There was like a weird animal cafe um, in the the like a little brother and then the cross from it there's this shop and it's really cheap like kind of too expensive so this shop is really cheap and it's got its clothing is like pretty good and like kind of hip as well but it's got a simple black and white belt i think this was 380 yen if i believe was correct i'm just gonna go off like roughly prices here because i can't remember 100 percent everything next we'll move to pants now i wanted to buy so many pants in japan and korea because to be honest, I have so many nice like pants. I really love how they have not really tight fitted stuff, more like flowy kind of stuff, which is really my style. But I don't really buy me because I never much room in my suitcase, as you guys know. I think the max for it was 24 kgs, and coming back, my suitcase was 23.5, so that's how close I was. First, I thrifted a pair of Levi's. I've been trying to thrift a pair of Levi's forever in New Zealand, and I finally found some in Japan, and I think it was at the 380, it's called, the shop's called 380 because everything's 380 yen um, and it sells like a lot of random stuff but also there's a little small area of thrifted items and I found Levi's, Levi's, a little bit too big for me but you know wear them about, they're cute, wholesome, they're really nice and warm, they're thick and they're beautiful, they like make perfect mum jeans and then the next pair of pants I bought was in Korea, this was in Hongdae, it was kind of like one of those impulsive drunk buys but I'm glad I brought those because I love them so much. Can't remember the shop name but these were quite expensive, I think they were like through like 35 New Zealand dollars around that. But basically they're just black, black skinny fitted jeans and they have like a, they bell, like they're a bell in so they flare out at the bottom and they're absolutely gorgeous and I love them. Next up is this top here. Once again, got it from 421. It's on sale for 600 yen, so of course I had to buy it. Um, it's just kind of a really cute um, boho, bohemian kind of style t shirt. It looks like something out thrift, so that's kind of why I bought it. it. Bought it? Bought it. Next up is also from 421. You can see I read to 421 and in the Shibuya, the giant ones. I bought quite a lot of stuff from there. Next is a really cute um, crop jacket. It was winter actually in, in time that I went to Japan, so a lot of the stuff is more winter orientated. It has a really cute O-ring on the um, zipper here, which kind of matches my earrings. Ooh, but it's cute. It's just a cropped jacket and it's really nice and fresh. Next up is the thing you probably saw me wearing quite a lot because I love this. It is a um, kind of like, you know, Ember Chamberlain kind of style jacket, jersey kind of thing, but it's cropped and it is a actual over, like, over jacket, not like a zippy one. But I wore this to the Hazy Jump concert and it's just really warm, really cute, really cozy, which was amazing, especially for Japanese winter. And now the last clothing item I bought was a thrifted jacket. This was kind of like an impulse buy as well, because we went to um, Shimokurazawa, which is, if you know Shimokurazawa, it's like the, um, 
thrifting high district in Tokyo and I went to all the thrift stores and most of them were so fucking expensive but I went to I think it was stick out and everything there was like um, 700 yen so I bought this it is like kind of a corduroy oversized black jacket it's absolutely gorgeous it's so warm it's amazing I really glad I bought this because it's also one of my favorite pieces so I guess this kind of falls under clothing as well, but it's more accessories. But I brought some socks. So um, these are just really cute socks I bought in Japan. I got them from Daiso, so they're like in. They're really, they're men's socks, but they'll fit me. They're really cute, just like little simple um, box checkered socks, which could go underneath anything. It looks cute. Next up are these um, semi-short socks. I've got lemons on them. They're nice, like dark. What is this like, color called? Like a dark yellow i'm not sure dark yellow burnt orange kind of color and it's also from daiso and then next i bought a whole lot of socks from in korea there was like where, which station was it damn i can't remember which station it was but i think it was um it was definitely in seoul we went to like it was a huge station it was a huge underground shopping area in the station And it was amazing and I bought quite a few pair of socks. Um, I kept three for myself, I gave others to my friends or my sister. Um, the ones I kept for myself are one of these Shiba Inu ones. This is really cute. Um, another Shiba Inu one, you, get, you see a theme here, they're so cute, I love them. And they're um, made in Korea, so they're actual quite good. And the next one was this little cute duck kind of sock. I don't really know. But they had like, I think it was like six for ten dollars and and it was pretty good and then the last kind of accessory thing i i don't buy my friend bought it for me if you see my christmas vlog when we're in nagoya we're walking around with these i have my cute i've sadly the present fell out but it's a just a little christmas christmas tree thing which is adorable So next up is makeup and skincare. Now, I don't really buy that much makeup and skincare products. Um, I bought a lot for my sister, which I mainly gave to her because she loves makeup and skincare. I don't really buy that much because I've got quite sensitive skin and I can cut, I can use most things, but some things really just me up and I didn't really want to buy something that would like affect what, uh, my skin. So um, I don't really buy that much. And also because I'm the, Korea was at the start of our trip and I would love to buy all of the skincare from Korea, but I don't want to carry it with me the, for the whole trip. So I don't really buy that much. The first thing we went, I bought was um, Nature Republic. Um, I love Nature Republic. I've used some of their products before, so I knew it was fine with them. But I went to their stop in Myeongdong. Was it Myeongdong? I'm pretty sure it was. And we ended up buying quite a few things. Um, first of all, I bought, you see this everywhere, it's the aloe gel from Nature Republic. It's amazing, it's so good for my skin. I get sunburned quite easily because I'm very pale. If not, I put some on, I get sunburned, I fucking hate it. But this is really good and like, I put it in the fridge. And then like when my skin is burnt, it's put on, it's so cool and lovely and I just love it. Um, next thing I bought was because I didn't really buy bringing like a face, proper face cleanser with me too um, for traveling. So I bought one and it's also the Elo range. It is amazing. It's just like a really light cleanser for your skin, which is amazing if you don't wear much makeup. Um, the next thing I bought was... Um, actually, I bought this in Japan, but I was going to buy it in Korea because I got given one of the testers when I was in a... Bought some things from the two house in Korea. But it is the double lasting foundation. Now, um, my foundation that I use at the moment is the NYX Stay Matte Not Flat foundation. And that one is great, but I have oily skin. It makes my skin look very oily. It is very like, just kind of like paint, you know? And it's not very full coverage. I have to put quite a few layers on. So I tried this foundation out when I had the test and it's absolutely amazing. I'm really, really happy with it. It is awesome. It is, comes in quite a small container though and it costs quite a lot. So I'm quite scared to use it because I'm one of those bitches. But um, it is amazing. I really do love it. I got it in the shade Rosy Pure if the camera will focus. There you go. And the thing is, I'm a very pale girl. This colour is like perfect for me. But this wasn't the lightest colour. There was even lighter colours. And I'm, I know Korea loves their light skin. But who... Whose skin colour is lighter than mine naturally in Korea? No one. So it's just mm -mm, very interesting point there. But also I got given some free, um, these are so cute. They're like mini foundation cushions for um, my foundation, which I haven't used yet, but I'm really excited too. The next thing I got was actually, well, okay, I got the, given these ones, but this is, I got given for our secret Santa thing we saw, we did. You'll see this in one of the vlogs, the Nagoya vlog, when it should eventually get up, which it will get up. 
It's just like a nice perfume. It's really cute. It smells amazing. And these are also gifts. My friend Lisa, the one that went to the concert with me, she gave me some gifts, which is this um, nice Japanese... Um, what is it called? Eyeshadow. It's called eyeshadow. Um, it is amazing. I, I can't want to open it, but I love it. It's a really nice sparkly purple shade. And the next is my new favorite makeup product. And this is um, eyeliner. Now, I have been using liquid eyeliner since I was like 14 and this is the nicest one I've ever found it is the what is brand it's called Motte liner and it's in dark brown but um it is amazing it is a very very thin tip and it paints like a really nice easy line it's amazing it's the easiest one I've ever used so I really recommend if you're usually using liquid liner use this one it's amazing it comes in lots of different shades I like dark brown even though I'm wearing it right now it looks quite black but um it's amazing um, the next kind of product I bought was a whole lot of face masks for my two tasks as well. Now in Japan, no, I bought these in Korea. In Korea, they really love bulk face masks because I guess they use it all the time. I saw packs of like a hundred in like most makeup stores, which is crazy to me. But um, this lady, I think it was like ten for ten for something. It was like it made it out to be like almost a dollar something for each face mask. But I got some strawberry, I bought like 20 by the way. I got strawberry, manuka honey, because I'm from New Zealand, so manuka honey is quite like popular and well known, so I wanted to get something that's kind of like that. Because I, I, I use quite a few of these as um, gifts for people, for like souvenirs. I got pomegranate and also aloe, which is amazing for my acne prone burnt skin. I also got this extremely adorable cat headband from Daiso in Korea. It is amazing. So I don't really have, I, didn't, I have like a headband in New Zealand, but I didn't bring it with me when I went traveling and I needed it when I was taking off my makeup or having showers. And I found this adorable thing. It's this little um, headband you put over your head and it's fucking so cute. And I just found these, so I'll just share it with you, I guess. But um, freebies. Hostels don't normally give out like little free, you know, kind of items. But the one we stayed in in Kyoto, which ended up, having that mishap which you'll find out about in that video so stay tuned it was a horrible mishap or whatever um they gave us <laughs> free things just hairbrush toothbrush a face boy thing and just it was quite amazing they're quite cute it was quite wholesome like people were nice it's just that something happened but you'll see in a later vlog i guess my next big chunk of things that i spent most of my money on were albums now that's what took up most of my space um in my suitcase Album. Sadly, one of them did break. So the first one I bought was this Kanjane Gamushara one. And if you see, there's a crack in the screen, um, in the front, which sucks. And this was only Hakuin. Okay, I'll tell you a little story time. So I went to, I think it was America Mura in Osaka, and we're just walking around all the weird little um shops and stuff. And we ended up coming across this place called King Kong. It had all second hand music magazines records everything was amazing we went because it looked fucking wholesome it was so cute we got all the magazines and the records and i was looking through these some of the albums because i was looking at like me and my friends were looking at more like you know old school rock kind of music and then i came across like johnny's i'm like they sell johnny's albums here this is like a record stop but um, they had so many Johnny's albums for Hyakuen. So yeah, the first one, well, some of these were given to me as gifts because I obviously showed interest in them and my friends bought them for me for the Secret Santa thing we're doing. But um, the rest I bought myself. So the first one was, of course, Gamashara by Khan Johnny A. It was Hyakuen. It has this extremely cute little um, wrist kind of thing. I'm gonna do unboxings of these for you guys as well, so don't worry about that. It'll come in future videos. The next was another um Khan Johnny one. I think it's a Summer Life song. Yep, Summer Life song. It's so cute. Hyakuen as well. Um, the next one was My Muki Scream, which is Hyakuen as well. These are just regular editions by the series, by the way, so they're not that special. Um, in the next bag, we've got um, another Khan Johnny 8. This one was a bit more expensive, I think this was like 300 yen. Um, it is Ite Janaika. It's really cute. I think this is a special edition version A or B because it has a music clip and making, so that's why it was a little more expensive. Um, the next one I got given as a gift was Dice's Billion Dreams album. I'm not a big fan of the song, but it's Dice, so I bought it plus, well, not my friend bought it plus, it was like maybe 200 yen, like it was pretty cheap. 
Next one, um, my friend Sam bought this for me because she also likes um, Johnny's Waste. It's one of the Johnny's groups she actually knows because she saw them on Netflix. <laughs> But it is Johnny's West and it was turned to Jan because it comes with this little thing. Don't know what it is exactly, I'm not gonna lie. And the next album I bought was actually I bought at um, Book Off. And it is my favourite Khan Johnny album, Puzzle. I absolutely adore this album. My favourite song is Rolling Rolling Goo Coaster, Rolling Coaster. Um, but I like it has all the fucking bops on here. I love this album with all my being. Um, but I haven't opened this yet, so I'm so excited to open it. I've done unboxing with you guys as well, but because I got this from Book Off. So it was like, well, how much was it? Up 695 yen without tax. It's a pretty cheap for an album, if you ask me. So, going on from albums, I think I was moving to phantom things that I bought when I was there because I feel like most, the biggest chunk of things I bought were phantom related goods because they're almost impossible to find outside of Japan. And in Japan, all the phantom goods are so cheap and amazing. First, of course, I'll show you the photos I bought from a photo bank. So a little story time. The day that we went to Harajuku, well, we went to Harajuku twice. The first time we went to Harajuku, um, I we didn't, I didn't go to the Johnny store because I know we're coming back to Harajuku and I didn't want to bother my friends with going to, going to the Johnny store because it's not down the main street. Plus, it's a bit polarizing if you're not a Johnny's fan and you go to Johnny's shop, you know. Um, but my other friend who came with me actually went for me back in 2016, but nonetheless. So we went again. We didn't know that the day we went to Harajuku again was coming of age day. It was fucking packed. It was a Monday morning and it was so packed. Um, so, you know, we we ended up at the Johnny store and um, there was a line of people. You know how if you have to go there to get a ticket and you have to line up again, there was all people lining up for the tickets and there was also people getting more tickets. So I just felt like, I felt like, nah, it's not worth it. Johnny's store, you're not paying my money, I'll just go to another place. So I went to the photo bank um, because they have the nice photos, plus it's so futuristic and it's like a little iPad that you can choose out of. But I'll show you, I only got five photos because they're 200 yen each and your yield is broke. But um, I'll show you the photos I bought. First of all was from the Sense of Love concert. Got Eno Taka. I had to, I just had to get a memory from here. It's fucking beautiful, look at them. Next up. Um, I saw this photo and I had to get it. It is from the YouTube Fan Fest um, performance Stones did. It is Jesse and Hokuto. They look fucking beautiful. Look at Hokuto's face. He's gorgeous. Um, next up was also another Stones. I've been loving Stones so much recently and I barely got any Stones good so I had to. This is a, um, one of the performances of Japonica style they did. They look absolutely beautiful and amazing. Oop, I love how everything's falling down. Next up is a picture of Hi Hi Jets. I wanted to get something Hi Hi Jets because I love Sawyer. Um, they look very cute here. I was gonna get uh, like a single photo of Sawyer, but all the photos he was doing that weird like grimace smile thing he does, and I'm like, really? I just want like a nice photo of you. So I got this one of all the members, and they look beautiful. And then of course the last photo, if you watched my Hasty Jump concert review, is Yamada from his solo stage, looking gorgeous. Um. It's almost, this, it was quite weird how the way she handed to me, it felt like a drug deal, like my friend Sam was like, that just felt like it was something really dodgy, but um, but I love these and I'll treasure them with my heart. And of course the next good things I bought were the Hater Jump goods from their concert. So if you've seen the concert review, you've already seen these, but the first thing was of course the Hater Jump Sense of Love concert towel, which is beautiful, it's just a nice towel. And then after that I bought the Hater Jump and countdown Uchiwa. So it's countdown to 18, 2019. It's a really beautiful Uchiwa. I love it. I think this brings my Uchiwa count to like almost double digits, which is kind of bad. I might do an Uchiwa haul for you guys one day because I've got so many I'd love to share with you. And the last thing I bought from the Sense of Love concert was, of course, the Sense of Love Light Stick. Now, I kept in the, I took it out for the concert. And it's, it's like the sticky thing's not working anymore, so it's fun. But I put it back in the um, container for the. um. I love keeping things in its plastic, but I don't think it's gonna stay much long. But it's beautiful. I love this Uchi. I'm not Uchi. This light stick. It's so beautiful. And the next things were the things I bought when I went to Mandarake in Akihabara. Now, my friends hated this because the Johnny's um. So Mandarake has like so many floors, and the Johnny's floor also was the BL floor. Boys love. 
and like I'm fine with it but it just looks so weird a bunch of white girls walking through like the like the boys love to Johnny's so my other friends felt extremely uncomfortable over there and they left me there for maybe good like half an hour while I was going through all the goods it was amazing they have so much stuff there I really wanted to be there for longer and if I had more money I'd spend so much more there but um there was actually like some foreigners working there in this Johnny section and they were looking for a kind Johnny at concert tickets online I'm like girl that's me they're playing hasty jump in the shop it was amazing there was two girls beside me who were um going through all the all the hasty jump goods and they like they went through lots of stuff and i would go after them and they're like it was just a good wholesome experience i really enjoyed it i really loved it except for it being on bl and my friends kind of ditching me but it was fine um anyway i digress these are the things i bought first up i bought the hasty jump um, somewhere 2011 Uchua. Now, I was gonna buy Uchua's for like single members, but I couldn't choose which member, so I chose, I decided to get one for all the members. This was 300 yen. I haven't got a mini Uchua yet, so I thought I had to add this to my collection. I've got Heisei 7 on one side and Heisei Best on the other side. All the members looking beautiful. Now, um, I really wanted to buy the Stones Uchua so badly, but it was like 2,600 yen. And I just couldn't like justify myself spending what, almost 30 New Zealand dollars on an Uchua. But it was Stones and it looked so gorgeous. But I just couldn't justify myself buying it. It's just, ugh. I'm kind of wish I did, but I was also extremely broke by the end of Japan, so I'm kind of glad I did it. I like really low key want this, but it's so expensive. It's 2,500 for Stones Uchua. All the Junior Uchua's are so expensive because they're obviously quite new but I've got some cheap jump goods and kanjani goods so that's what I think I'll get instead. Next up what I bought was this um, Hasty Jump summer, to match it to what I, no, yeah, to match it to what I got the summery light stick. I absolutely love this light stick. It is so cute. Um, and it comes with like, I'm not sure if it works or not because it was actually only tucker in. Like legit one dollar for an Uchua. No, for a light stick. Crazy Japan, crazy. Um, I'm not sure if it works or not because it's so cheap, but it comes with all the stickers in the original packaging. Like, even like outside of this packet, like the packet that Mandalay like, put on, there's another packet inside it. So, um, it might work, I'm not 100% sure actually, but I'm not going to take it out of the packets because I'm that person. And the last thing I bought from Mandalay like, hey, was the Kanjaniye Aita keychain. Now, this is such a cute, oh, I took it out because I loved it so much. I've got this for 500 yen, which is pretty expensive, but um, it is so cute, I had to not get it. Like, I'm gonna put this on my bag for uni this year. It's gonna be a wholesome time. Um, I really wanted to get the Hello Kitty X Kanjani collaboration things, but like, the Yasuda um, Hello Kitty was so expensive. I really wanted to buy it, but I just couldn't like just justify myself spending like, what, 1,000 yen on a, like, a Hello Kitty toy. Murakami's one was legit, I think it was 300 yen. It was crazy, it shows you how like popular each member are, but um, I support this and I was so wholesome, I just had to buy it. So the next thing I kind of didn't really buy, but I collected were like little um, souvenir kind of things. Now I used to love scrapbooking, but I haven't really scrapbooked again. So I thought that if I did this on my trip, I would like scrap, start scrapbooking again maybe. But like from every single place we went, I took a brochure or a pamphlet or just a like card or something. So like, I've got all these like little things from all the places we visited, which was amazing. Um, I've got so many of them. Um, half the merch, I don't even know where they came from, so that's good, but I really just love looking back on them and seeing. Oh, this is wholesome. So we went to like this um, Yude Izakaya, which was like, um, it was amazing. But um, we played this, well, I didn't play it because I had like, it was, the food wasn't vegan, but my friends played like this, um, death through lit kind of thing and if they got like 10 more filled of wasabi they died so I got one of them but um one of my friends gave one of these to me and we had to wear this like the lady told us to wear them back to the station so we're walking through like I think where was this it was in um Kichi Joji walking through, to, through Kichi Joji to the Kichi Joji station with this on my head it was an interesting time people obviously thought all done for us oh my god I got foundation all over that that's fun we love that but um this is just so cute and wholesome and like I even kept so like we went to the Running Man exhibit, which if you watch our career vlog, you'll see. But when we completed the Running Man, we got this like little certification kind of thing. It's a bit squished, but um, it was amazing. I got 80 out of 88 points. We also got little badges. It was a wholesome time. I loved that. Um, oh, even more of them right here. 
I think kept like so in Korea you can like when you buy like the single use train, train passes you can actually give them back for a set amount of money but I decided to keep two of them because they are cute even though they're little cards I've just got a whole lot of stuff my ticket from the aquarium my my voucher they gave me at unison just like so many little bits and pieces which I love I know it might be a bit weird to some of you guys but I'm I'm kind of I'm not I don't think I'm a kleptomaniac but I just really love collecting like little small things like this so it's just kind of like a nice little thing that I decided to keep and collect when I was in Japan and Korea let, let, guys let me know if you do that as well so I was like I know it's not just me being weird but next up I'll just show you um, a few things that I kept in my wallet first of course was the Hazy Jump concert for um concert ticket for Sense or Love um, the next thing that I did a lot of was pretty cutters. Um, they're kind of just a really cute way to remember memories for me. Um, I'm, I'm not sure if my friends will be, ha will be happy with me showing them these photos, but oh well, I'll just show you a few of them. Now, Japanese pretty cutters are crazy. They make, they like Photoshop you so you look perfect in a weird kind of way, but um, it's just so cute. I really do love them. They're quite different from the photo booths in the West here, and I just love them. They're quite, I just I've got, if you look at my mirror at the moment, they're, they're covered in pretty colors and photo booths I've taken at other times with my other friends. But it's just like amazing. So I took quite a few of them, which is, that's where a lot of my money went. But um, there's amazing little memories kind of things that we've got. So I really do love those. And also another thing that I've kept was all, all my Shinkansen tickets. I absolutely love them. They're so cute. And also, I don't know how I managed this because in Japan, if you single use train tickets, you know, you put them in, boop, and you like grab them out from the other end. And then when you go exit the gate, you put it in and they eat it up. But I've somehow managed to keep some of them. So that's very fun. So I'm going to use that for scrapbooking as well. Also, another thing my Klepto self decided to keep was all the receipts from all the places I have visited and bought stuff from. Like, it's crazy. Like, I, don't, I know why I bought, kept some of them. Like, I kept the, um, Hey, say jump, sense of love um, receipt here. <laughs> it was it's cute. But things like, I keep the Moss Burger receipt. Why did I keep a Moss Burger receipt? Well, to be honest, the soy patties are delicious. But like, I just kept the weirdest fucking, like, why do I have half these receipts? What is this? Where is this from? I don't know. Why do I do this? Please, guys, tell me if you do this as well. So I know it's not just me or whatever. Oh, my Dyson receipt. <laughs> but like, it's just like cute little memories I decided to keep, you know, it's weird. I guess the next packet of things is magazines. Now this is also what took up a lot of my storage and my luggage plus the weight because if you feel how heavy this is, it is quite heavy. I think it's quite like 3 or 4 kgs just by the itself. But um, I'll get on a little unboxing for you guys. So, my god, if you guys can see my bed at the moment, it's crazy. It's covered in so much shit. First of all, I bought the Kan Kan edition. Oh, why do I do ASMR tapping? Why do I do that? Um, this is the like, kinky cover. I bought this because of stones. If you watch the stones YouTube video, you would understand that they did like a little weird skinny thing where like each of the members did um shot each other. And I bought it. Of course I did. It is so cute. They look amazing. They look so cute. And there's like from the YouTube video, them taking photos of each other. It looks gorgeous. But um, that's the first magazine I bought. <laughs> you, you'll see a pattern here. You'll see how much I've fallen for stones lately. Next was the An An. The, the edition of Stones In. Now the thing is, I went to so many different bookstores looking for this. Like, as soon as I got to Japan, I looked for them. And I thought that I had lost it because it was really like uh, issue two issues forward from the point that I was in Japan. So I thought I like missed out on it. But we ended up going to, we're walking through Kyoto and we walked past a really big bookstore. And my friends made me go in because I knew that I was looking for this fucking magazine and made me those bitches. No, I'm quite happy. And I went in and they had it. So of course I bought it because I have to get edgy stones. Edgy stones content, you know? Next up was the Jurret with stones on the front. Now one of my friends posted this on his story so I knew that I really wanted this um, Jurit magazine. And of course it has stones on the front. I love Jurit actually because it comes with posters. So I've got a Kisumai and a snowman poster in here. Um, oh, and seven men on the back. Who are on the back of 
Kishimai. Kishimai. It is King, uh, King of Prince. <laughs> okay, so a little funny story time right here. My friend like asked me why I hated King of Prince so much. I don't hate King of Prince, by the way. I quite like them. Um, he just like, well, I was like, well, I debuted a set of stones. So it's, that's my only beef with them. But um, I, I do like King of Prince. I'm just like, I'm not the biggest fan of them. But um, I love Jurit. It has so many beautiful photos of all my boys, all the beautiful precious babies. Um, it's gorgeous. I, I love, love it, love it. And the last magazine that I bought was the Myojo Kato Jump Cover. It looks so weird with only um, with that Kato. I'm so pressed, but it comes with the King and Prince DVD cover thing, which is wholesome. And I love how Myojo has magazine um, posts as well. So we've got a sexy zone poster on one side and a beautiful Johnny's West poster on the other side. But I think the sexy zone poster was absolutely gorgeous. Plus like shorts, um, shorts, so still there. Um, it also has stickers with high high jet. I just hit myself in the face, love that. High high jet stickers, love that. So those are the magazines that I bought, but bless her soul. So my friend Lisa who went to the Haze Jump concert with me, um, you know how jumped at the jump Miyagi kind of thing? She she's from the area that they um were promoting. So she got me every single magazine. Like so for, so these are the thin thin flyers and it is a thick magazine. So she got me like this version and she also got me the original jump Miyagi kind of thing. The thick magazine plus the thin posters so she came and she was like oh by the way i got these for you handed me this fucking thick ass pile of them and oh my gosh i'm just so thankful for it at least if you're watching thank you so much i love them so much they're so cute um and i'm so glad i got this because i love the youtube promotions i did for them it was hilarious honestly Next up is Gotama things. Now you might think, Gina, how can you have a whole section for Gotama things? You don't understand my love for Gotama. I love Gotama. So the first thing I got was from a gacha. It's this little Gotama squishy boy. I absolutely love this. Now the other thing is, I bought so many Gotama gachas. I bought one in Korea. I bought one in Japan. I lost both of them. Somehow I managed to lose both. The first one I bought in Korea, I put in my camera bag. I lost it within like two hours. I'm not sure how, like it was full and stuck on there. Next one I bought, I took the concert with me. I lost it. Oh, why did I think to bring it to a concert was a good idea? Who knows? But um, I ended up buying this one and I decided to keep it with me so I didn't lose it. <laughs> because I didn't want to lose another good time thing. So I bought so many of them. It just makes me so sad that I lost them. Next thing were these blind boxes. Now, on one of my vlogs, I do like a mini unboxing kind of thing of the blind boxes so you can see that there. But I've got two of them right here. And one of them was like a good time a cake boy. I have done them yet, but I'm gonna like package them up and put them somewhere. The next thing I got was an, another Gurutama um, tart. Very cute, very wholesome, I love that. I'm gonna put those up somewhere in my bedroom. Next thing was, bless my friends, they are so wholesome. So they went to Universal Studios and I went to, um, where did I go? I went to his jump concert. But, um, and they, cause I couldn't go, they brought me like a Gurutama Universal Studios keychain, just so I could feel like I was there. They're so wholesome. It was 700 yen as well as naughty girls, but it's so cute. It's like a good time on top of the USJ kind of thing. I absolutely love that. I just had not to put my bag yet because I don't want to lose it, but I think I might put it on my pencil cases this year. The next thing I bought when we was a good time gacha. It's a cute little good time bag, which is so cute. I love it. I'm not sure I'm going to use it for yet, but um, I'm definitely going to put it to use because it is so cute. And then of course I brought um, good time washi tape from Daiso. Because this is so cute. It will be so cute for scrapbooking as well. I love this. And I think the last good time I think I bought was another good time I gotcha. And this time I didn't put it in my bag so I didn't lose it. But it's good time with a little bacon. Just like simple good time. Which was so cute. Next up is going to be a mini Daiso haul. Because I did buy quite a few things from Daiso. First thing was, well, these are like good gifts to me for my friends. For like the Secret Santa thing we do. We did, I first got a Sudoku book because... I absolutely love Sudoku. It is, I spent too many hours. I've got the app on my phone and I spent hours just like playing Sudoku. Next up are gloves, which are touched because Brianna, she was like, oh, well, Trudina always has cold hands. So she bought me cute fucking gloves that are touched so I could use my phone and stuff with them as well. And the next thing, Sam got me this cute little penguin boy because penguins are one of my favorite animals. Penguins and cats. But it's like a cute little penguin boy, which is adorable. I absolutely love him. Next up are so many hot packs. Daiso has hot packs for so cheap and I absolutely love it 
because they are just so handy and helpful and they're just amazing for cold days. Um, next thing I got was this planner, 2019 diary planner. I love planners like this. I brought a good, good time one back in 2016 when I went and it's just amazing to put like all your stuff in. I've always started filling it out with things I need to do and it's got some clear pages at the back. Next up are cooking chopsticks. Now I love cooking and I cook when I like you know stir fries and it's just easy to mix things or like just to things I use chopsticks. And my chopsticks at the moment are like the ends are kind of burning a little bit and I always like end up burning myself when I'm doing it. So I got long boy cooking chopsticks. So I'm so excited to use these. Next up I brought um fucking adorable 90s kind of is is um hair clips. These are so cute. I really do love them. Um I had to buy them because I'm that bitch. I also brought um, a, so it's so cute, it's a penguin. So you've seen these, like they put, you put them on top of your um, mugs to keep them warm and also I've got an ant problem. I have ants in my room, got ants in the house. So whenever I have a cup of tea, I have to be really careful where I leave it so ants don't get into it. This should be perfect just to keep it. And I brought the penguin one, but because it had a fucking like straight feelings, what is that supposed to mean? What is that supposed to mean? Is this Loki homophobic? What are you, Daiso? I, the, the translation was fucking hilarious, so I had to buy that. Um, next up was, um, I bought these face razors because your girl has moustache, so I shave it. And these are absolutely cheap and they're amazing. Like, in New Zealand, these are so expensive to buy by themselves. In Japan, they keep going for three. Just, why wouldn't you? Now, the next time I'm going to be doing a few miscellaneous items which don't really fit into any categories. So, the first thing I got was this cute little, it's like a little, um, boar. A thing I got this from one of the um a weird gacha alley in Akihabara if you'll see in the vlog but um take Yaku in and got this cute little boy I absolutely love him I don't know why I just got really attached to him I love really small things that's why next up was this um it's just so cute so in Asakusa you know for all the little charms and stuff in the little alleyways um they have these little cats and these are called wallet cats now um each cat has like a different meaning. This one is just for, I think, general good luck. It's not gonna focus on, I'm not sure why I try. Why, why camera? But um, you put this in your wallet and you carry it around with you and it's supposed to give you good luck. It is so cute, I had to buy one. Just so like, just for like, you know, the wholesome memories and shit, I love it so much. And the other thing that she bought for me, I went to the shrine that Stones went to. Now, if you've seen one of the um, episodes, it was when they were investigating all the type of rocks and um, Kyomo and Judy went to a shrine in... Where was it? It was in somewhere in Tokyo. I can't remember where it was exactly, but it was so wholesome. My friend took me there and he was so sweet. He ended up buying this for me and everything. Um, you go and you like, you know, you do a little prayer and then you scrape off a little bit of rock and you put it in a little bit of sponge in here and it's supposed to like, you know, it's just so cute. I didn't really buy any charms this round for myself. I bought one for my nana and one for my friend, but I didn't buy one for myself. So this is my own little charm, which is so cute. And I absolutely love it. Now the last breakout for this video, I'm sorry it's so long, I know it's so long, were gifts. So I bought um, quite a few gifts for my um, friends and family because, you know, they supported me quite a lot for this. Time, which I really did appreciate so I went to Daiso and I bought like um these are a beautiful like gift the Japanese style mascot pins um kokeshi pins they are so beautiful they are absolutely so cute I love them so much of course chopsticks um I've given most of my gifts to my family and friends already but there's a few members who I'm not seeing in time soon so I'm, I've kept them so I can post them to them or something I also bought them some um Japanese chocolate because who doesn't want to like try Japanese chocolate? Also, Daiso had these really cute reusable bags. In New Zealand, most of our supermarkets don't have single-use plastic bags anymore, which is amazing. I actually really do love that. Even though I work at a checkout, like I, I work at checkout at the supermarket, and I always get berated because people get angry because we don't have plastic bags. You have to buy them if you want to use them. Um, but these are just really handy plastic bags. Put them in your bag, and you that you can reuse them, and they hold quite a lot. So I got these for my for my like nana and my grandma and stuff because they love those type of things. I also got um, these cute little bags to put all the presents in for my family. And um, also, my friend, my friends and family really love this. It's Black Thunder, the chocolate bar. Like, I'm not sure why it's such a big hit for Westerners, but they really love it. Okay, so I just got back from Japan, so I'm gonna do a quick um, what I bought in Japan kind of thing. But it's gonna be like gifts because I'm gonna give them to my family like as soon as possible. So I'll show you what I got in terms of gifts. 
first for my mum. I got like just a few random things. Um, I got a few things for the family as well. But kitchen timer. Now it's the year of the ball this year. So in here is like a little ball. It's really cute. I got from Oscar. It's a ball keychain kind of thing. And also they've got a just a cute embroidered towel that she would enjoy. And also these. I've heard lots of people talking about how good these are. They're like lavender scented eye masks when you sleep. Apparently they're really good. Um, moving on from my dad. In here I have lots of Japanese chocolate and stuff. Um, some socks. A nice Japanese pen. And I found these at Daiso and they're so little cold. They're like stone ice cubes. So I might enjoy that. Now my sister. I kind of splurge on my sister because I love her. But first um, I got like I wanted to put in a nice bag. So I've got like a nice bag here. And in this bag we've got two pieces of socks I bought in Korea. These are really cute ones those ones here I've got one of these these are really popular and I think it'll be good for her phone charger I got a lot of different snacks and also some cute clothes from forever 21 and then here's just a whole lot of like Japanese and Korean like face masks and just other general cute little things I got her 20 Molly hand cream it's a whole lot of just goodies for her oh, and of course I can't forget now, you've probably seen these everywhere. They're little cat hats, but this one was for my cat, so it's like a lolly. I'm gonna try to put it on him or her, depending which one's more prone to it. But it's kind of cute. I got it from one of the gutches in it. Um, where was it? Akihabara, in Akihabara. But I think that's everything I bought. I probably did forget a few things. Um, I know that I've probably used some stuff and put it somewhere and forgot where I put it. But that's the majority of what I bought in Japan and Korea. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love watching these type of videos. I don't know why. I love kind of holy kind of things. So hopefully that was interesting for you guys. And hopefully it wasn't too long. But thank you very much for watching. My vlogs for Japan and South Korea are going to be up soon. I've been editing them like crazy. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Just so you guys know what my bed looks like now. This is what it looks like. It's covered in so much. Just all my stuff. Because I threw it here afterwards. Oh my god, guys. This is crazy. Why did I buy this much? <laughs>